Hello, students. In today's class, I am starting as level physics first topic uh, quantities and its measurement. This is the first topic of as level physics, AS level physics. Physical quantity and unit. I'm starting this one. And inshallah in my channel, I will uh, in my channel, I will uh, make videos related to all topics. Uh, inshallah. Now, this is my first topic. Uh, physical quantities and its unit. In AS physics, this is the base chapter and first chapter. Now, I'm telling something about it. What are the importance in this chapter? Physical quantities. Physical quantities and units. In past paper, when you see question related to this chapter uh, comes physical quantities and its units. Basically, when we talk about the physical quantities, now what are the quantities? Uh, basically, in measurement, the physical quantities are very important. Physical quantity is a feature of the something which can be measured. Okay, we can define as a physical quantity. A physical quantity is a feature of something which can be measured. Is a feature of something which can be measured. Is a feature. of something which can be made. We, which we can be made. We measure different things. Physical quantity basically a feature of something which can be measured. We measure in over daily life different things and these all things are also we are using in physics also. Just like we measure length uh, and we measure weight. These are the main quantities which we measure. We measure light, we measure weight or we measure length weight, time. Now, these are the quantity. Normally, we are using these quantity and we are measuring these quantity. Length, weight, time like that. In physics, in most uh, chapters, we are using these quantities. Length, weight, and time. These are the, some basic quantities we are measuring mostly in physics and chemistry. And uh, when we talk about the quantity, uh, quantity consisting, and when we measure the quantity, uh, con quantity consisting two things. Number one, uh, magnitude, and number two, unit. Just like when we talk about the length, in length, we say 10 meter, 10 kilometer, 100 
centimeter. We say the two things, number one, numbers, and secondly, unit. Every quantity measurement consisting two things, number and its unit. Basically, physical quantity is a feature of something which we can measure, like we measuring the land, we measuring the measure weight, we measure the time. These are the physical quantity we measure when we need of uh, these physical quantity. Every physical quantity consists of uh, magnitude, and magnitude is the sum of number and unit. When we talk about the magnitude, magnitude is the sum of number and unit. Magnitude showing uh, number and unit. Just like we have seen in uh, uh, length, in length we are using uh, number and unit. When we measure the length, we represent it by the 10 centimeter. Now, quantity is measured with magnitude and magnitude of quantity representing by the number and unit. That's like length is 10 meter. Some quantities are small and some quantities are large. And we represent the very large quantity and small quantities with the help of their uh, scientific form. <coughs> For large and small quantities, we are using the way of scientific notation. Scientific notation. We are using for large and small quantities. We are using the scientific notation. Normally, we write the magnitude uh, with uh, uh, we write the magnitude with normal, just like ten kilometer. It is not a very large quantity. It is a normal quantity, and uh, we write it directly. But when we are writing the large quantity then we are using the scientific notation. If a quantity is large, we represent this quantity by uh, scientific notation. Just like if in the magnitude of any quantity, uh, like uh, that I'm writing here, like uh, 10, 1005, 0, 0, 0, 0, and uh, like that, many zeros coming. This is a large quantity. When we write the large quantity, we are using the scientific notation. Uh, with the help of scientific notation, we are writing the uh, quantities. Zero, 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 like that. Now, how we write this quantity? We, we are not writing this quantity like that. We are using a standard form. First, we check where is the... Uh, decimal in this quantity. Just like this is the number and there is no decimal between the number. It means decimal here in the last. Uh, and how we write this quantity in scientific notation, we transfer this decimal from uh, uh, first zero to the uh, last number of this, uh, this whole quantity. Just like there is a decimal present where I mark and we are transferring this one uh, towards the first number of this uh, whole uh, number or large quantity. So we count the all uh, numbers which are present in it. Just like uh, th there is a decimal, we transfer for 0, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Now here we transfer the digit in the form of when we are writing in the form of a standard form in, in a standard form now how many numbers we cross here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 number we cross so we apply with a multiplication sign there is 10 power 10 1 2 3 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टेन पावर इज नेगेटिव ओके दिस इज अल क्वानिटी वेरी स्मॉल क्वानिटी एंड वेन वी राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज ऑल्सो अ मीटर and we want to change this one into a uh, standard form scientific notation now how we write this one into scientific notation we transfer this uh, decimal from uh, this 0 to the first number uh, near as the first number of this whole number okay uh, just like we transfer 1 2 3 4 5 6 And to ten power, how many digit you transfer here? Uh, count it. How many digit you transfer here? You transfer here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten digit. Then you apply here ten power minus ten. But it is necessary. Then we are writing the uh, standard form. Decimal comes with the first number or the first number of every quantity so we write here 10 power minus 10 and but in this decimal is in the last transfer it by 5.04 now you transfer now well, this transfer is positive transfer now you add two digit in 10 power minus 10 then you get 10 power minus 8 uh, finally this is the standard form of this number which is given when the quantities are very large or when the quantities are small we change these quantity uh, into a, a standard form or scientific notation it's been 5.04 into 10 power minus 10 plus 8 comes now finally we write 5.04 uh, minus minus 10 plus 2 because here finally we transfer two digit we write here as 004 point into 10 power minus 10 when we transfer two digit back now we add uh, in this quantity 2 when we add in this quantity 2 then the final result coming 5.04 into 10 power minus 8 now this is the scientific form when the quantities are small or quantities are large we change their magnitude into a scientific notation now this is the way and uh, we are using ma mainly in physics si quantity system international quantity in physics we are mainly using the system international quantities si quantities and si units uh, basically system international quantities 
um, base unit also with it. We are uh, uh, taking some quantities as a fixed quantities or the basic quantities of this system SI. When we talk about the SI system, now in the system we are mainly using the quantities uh, like length and mass and time with a particular particular units, and these are the base quantities. When we talk about the SI units, then we say <coughs> the base quantity which we are using in this system, like mass, length, these quantity we are using in this system. Now, these quantities are length, mass, and time, and uh, uh, electric current, and uh, now these are the base quantities. In system international units, we use the mass. Mass with unit of kilogram. We use the mass with kilogram. We keep the unit of the mass in kilogram. Quantity is mass, and we are using the unit of an SI system unit of mass is kilogram, and we are using also symbol for this one. Symbol is kg. Symbol is kg. Just like when we say in SI system mass, this mass. Uh, having the unit of kg. Mass unit of kilogram and it is represented by the kg. In assay system, we use the base quantities, mass, time, temperature and their units also we are using as a fixed unit, mass, length, length is in meter, in SI units, and represented uh, with a small m, and uh, length, mass, and time, we are also using as a base quantity in the SI unit. These, this is also time, is also base quantity, and uh, we are using also as a <laughs> temperature based quantity. SI unit is system, SI quantities or unit system is that system in which we are taking some quantity as a base quantity. And how it is defined as the base quantity? There are seven basic quantities, just like mass, time, uh, length. Electric current, now these are the base quantities. These are the base quantities. Length is base quantity. In SI system, base quantities are seven quantities. Land, mass, and time. Now, these are the base quantities. Land, mass, time, temperature. These are the basic quantities which we are using in the SI system. Length, mass, and time.
temperature is also base quantity. Temperature is base quantity. And current is base quantity. These are the seven quantities which are base quantity in SI units. And their units are the basic units. We are using these quantities as a base quantities or fundamental. Temperature, length, mass, time, and electric current is also a base quantity. Electric current is also a base quantity. In SI units, we are using these are as a base quantities. These are the seven quantities. What are the length, mass, time, temperature, and electric current? And last one is the luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. In SI units, uh, system international quantities, we are using as a base quantities, these quantities. And length having the unit meter, and mass having the unit of kilogram, kg. Length is represented by m. Time is in second. And uh, current is in uh, Kelvin, uh, sorry, current is in ampere. Current is in ampere. And current is in ampere. <laughs> and uh, temperature is in Kelvin. And current is an ampere with a symbol and luminous intensity. It is represented by the candela. Candela is a unit for the luminous intensity. When we talk about the uh, quantities, quantities are those which we uh, using for the measurement. And there are many quantities which we uh, we are using for measurement and uh, uh, for measurement we kept there is a constant system of unit as a unit system and as a unit system having is that system having the uh, some basic physical quantities all these basic physical quantities are the same basic quantities and uh, these basic physical quantities we are using in the as a SI quantities. Physical quantity, the physical quantity is a feature of some thing which we measure. We measure different things. These are all physical quantity, land, weight, these are physical quantity. If quantity is normal, we uh, write, writing it normal. Unit is normal, we write just like as 10 meter, 10 kilometers. If the quantity unit are large or small, then we change these units into a, uh, a standard form. Uh, and how we change these into instant form? In every quantity, we transfer the decimal, which which is present in the quantity. And the last, if large quantity in the last, then we transfer it back to the one number, uh, last number of the quantity, and count the digit, and then change it into 10 power. Uh, 10, if it is a length or time or every, every quantity, any quantity, we write that. If there is a... Uh, number given 0 0.000050. This is another small number. The, uh, above number is large and it, it is represented by the 10 power plus 10. And down number is a small, it is represented by the 10 power minus uh, with uh, the large and smaller we change into a standard form. And SI quantities are the, that quantities which are seven quantities and these seven quantities are known as basic. In SI, we keep their unit constant like length meter, mass kilogram times second, current in ampere, temperature, Kelvin, electrical and ampere, 
and living in intensity like candela. Now, in next part of my lecture, I will continue these quantities and you try to understand in my lecture. Uh, and I will explain it in my as level whole course, all the chapters here in my channel. Okay, student? Okay, love this.